And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Hi, I'm Reba McIntyre, and it's a daytime to remember. Today I'll be your guardian angel for an incredible journey to heaven, one life to live style. We'll be traveling back exactly ten years when Vicky took a little trip into the great beyond. <laughs> no kidding. It was a chapter right out of the X-Files. It all started when Vicky went under the knife for risky brain surgery, and she slipped into a coma. While she hovered between life and death, her guardian angel whisked her away. Her destination? Heaven. Where Vicky was about to come face to face with her deceased loved ones and share a touching reunion with her first husband, Joe Riley. So turn back the clock to the spring of 1987 and hang on because you're about to take a trip to heaven. Joe! Oh my God! My Joe! Does this mean that if you dream something long enough, it does come true? I'm not dreaming, am I? No, obviously not. Promise me. Promise me you will never, ever let me go again. If that's what you want, sweetheart. Oh, Vicky, I love you so. Oh. Oh, but I do love you. Imagine meeting up with your man in heaven. Okay, it's a little far out, but one life to live took quite a few flights of fancy back in the 80s. They sort of bent the rules of daytime by discovering underground cities or transporting Clint and Vicky a hundred years into the past. You never know where you might end up next. Let's head back to heaven, where Vicky is sharing an extra special reunion with nearly everyone she had loved and lost. Her parents, her sister Meredith, her brother Tony, and her pals Vinny and Harry. Not to mention her good friend, Samantha Vernon, who drowned in a hot tub. But most of all, Vicky was reunited with Joe. But he knew Vicky's life in Landview wasn't over yet. Joe felt Vicky still had a lot of living to do. What a scene. My best pal reunited with his best gal. <laughs> no questions now, eh? Victoria will never want to leave Joe's side. I miss Ray. And Larry. I wouldn't mind putting my arms around Wanda. Now, now, now. Let's not get all sentimental. Most people have things to accomplish yet on Earth. I hope Joe hurries Victoria into surrendering soon. The captain did say he wanted accomplished immediately. I'll go tell the captain that things will be back on schedule shortly. I hope. Oh, Joe, I thought about you so much before. Peggy, I'm so glad you're beyond pain now. I felt so upset about the suffering you had to go through since I left you. Pain and sorrow. They all seem light years away now. Oh, that's because they are light years away, right? Am I catching on? I think so. It's all okay now, isn't it? I mean, being with you and knowing that I have landed in a far, far better place. I suspect I can simply let go now, and then our journey won't be slowed down anymore. As long as I can be with you, darling. I'll stay. If that's what you truly want, if you truly, truly feel that way. There it is again, that, that, that hint that I can somehow control things. Darling, I am concerned about the children, but the others, they were all acting as if that was wrong, as if I should understand that leaving them is just fine. Yeah, wonderful boys. Kevin and Joy have turned out to be her. Oh, you would be so proud of her. Oh, yeah, proud of me. And of you. And Flint, the way you brought them up. They seem to have been shielded from the adversity that you and Clint have had to fight your way through. Well, pretty much so, yes. But now, darling, they've never had to face death before, not so close to home anyway. I mean, you know that Kevin was just a baby when you died. It seems so unfair now. I know, it seems that way to me sometimes, even though I know that 
worldly death is merely a transition to this life here. But you uh, haven't mentioned anything about leaving Clint behind. About his suffering as having lost you. Well, that's because the children come first in my heart. And how's it going here? Ready to be a full member of our happy family? Well, I'll tell you something, Virgil. You know, it's more a question of will that Vicky is holding on down there. I believe it is a question of conscience as well. Ah, for crying out loud, Joe. Earthly conscience. Oh, no, she still is part of the earth, isn't she? Come on, sweetheart, we're going to have to show you a few home movies. No, wait. Is this really necessary? Well, you can't expect her to make the decision to let go until she knows really what she's leaving now, can you, huh? Now, do your thing, will you please, Virgil? Joe, what are you doing? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but uh, we're going to have to show you some of the memories that have been erased. You know, I, I stood in that ICU room, holding onto her hand. And you know, one minute I could feel her slipping away. And next, I could feel her fighting like hell to stay alive. And I just felt that I had to come home and talk to the kids. And How the hell do you explain to kids that age that their mama might not be coming home? Vicki, do you have any remembrance of the first time you met Clint? He uh, came in from Arizona. We were out uh, drinking and talking about him becoming the editor of the banner. We got in late. You were angry because, well, because you were worried. Just who are you? Please. Joe, do you have any idea how long I have been worrying about you? Riley, I think it's about clenches it. This is the other half of uh, Lord Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a minute. Sweetheart, you're giving the gentleman the wrong impression of our relationship. Uh, Mr. Buchanan is going to be the managing editor of the banner. Uh, now, ma'am, I did not say I was going to become the next editor of the banner. So what is oh, going no, on here? Yeah, but you're going to say, pal, you can bet your big cowboy boots on that, partner. We didn't get off to a very good start, did we? It took a long time before you finally saw the man for what he really was and uh, gave in to your love for him. And did what, what I wanted you. I, Victoria, take you, Clint. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better and for worse, for richer and for poorer. For better and for worse, for richer and for poorer. Bring any wedding vows with you. Clint was such a good father to Kevin and to Joey. And we had a lot of problems with the Buchanan family back then. But our marriage was very strong. Until hell descended on all when uh, Mickey Smith returned. But there was even a rainbow at the end of that talk, after all. <laughs> Oh, this. no, sweetheart, I'm going to have your baby. And we had the most beautiful daughter. And Clint and I were absolutely thrilled by her. And so were Kevin and Joey. But then... You remember now? No. No, I only remember what I was told. I don't want to remember what Jessica was thinking. Bring the prince for the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 